Alright, everybody! Welcome back to Paper Mario. So... Nope, nope. Well, we got four more BP now, so... What to equip? What to equip? Oh, I know. Power Quake, for one. Power Smash would be nice, too. It's hard to equip some... Oh, I know. How about first attack? Mmm, <laughs> something smells really good. Is that delicious smell coming from something you're carrying? Whatever it is, I want to try it. Come on, what is it? So if you get... You can give him anything that's made by Taste Tea, and he'll freak out and give you something really good. So I'll give him my Maple Shroom. Oh, thank you! It looks so good! Oh, yeah. Here, why don't you take this as a thank you from me? It grows in a place that only I know about. Trust me, it's good. We get a melon! It's a succulent ripe melon. Restores 15 HP. Welcome to Yoshi's Cabana. Alright, what would be something I'd be willing to part with? I don't think a Super Soda would work, because that's not something that can hold a BB. Oh, maybe the cake. Yeah, I'll give him a cake. There you go, fresh cake. Oh, thank you, it looks so good. Oh yeah, here, why don't you take this as a thank you for me? It grows in a place only I know about, and we get another melon. That's all we need. Two melons. Shortcut. Also, people who have great memory of what I've been doing will remember many, many episodes back we explored this area. But there are two iron blocks that we could destroy. And we get another upgrade block. We'll upgrade Bombette. So now in addition to dealing extra damage, Bombette gets the ability Mega Bomb. It's like Power Bomb, except it also damages aerial enemies. So, that could be pretty good. Alright, let's see what old man Koopa Koop wants now. There's Chuck Gizmo! Kawiz! It's time for another Chuck Gizmo quiz! Question! Where does Mer Lovely, who tells fortunes about special things, live? Shooting star sub it. Career! Congratulations! Here's your star piece! You've correctly answered 15 questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long. Farewell. Until we meet again. Alright, Koopa Koot. What's shaking? He doesn't need any favors? What the heck? No new badges, dude. Seriously. Received some mail. Cool. Letter from Goomba. Dear Goombario, how are you, my cute little Goombario? We're all doing fine here. I hope your tattle ability has finally become useful. Stop by whenever you get the chance. We all miss you. Good luck, my little Goomnut. I'll be thinking of you, Goomba. Well, that's sweet. Yeah, put the letters away. No letters for sushi or what? Hmm. Alright, it is definitely time to go to Shooting Star Summit. We've got a ridiculous amount of star pieces. Power Rush Badge. Last Stand Badge. Those have been in there for a while now. Hey, dude! 
What's shaking? Okay, I swear! There was a badge called Item Hog. Well, Dane, if I've got a choice, I'm getting... Ooh, Flower Saver's pretty good, but I'd rather have Power Plus. Power Plus is really good if you want to spare the BP. Oh my gosh! We should not have left Lava Lava Island! I totally forgot! Doi! I'm an idiot. Are you talking to me because you crave knowledge that only my intellect can provide? Then how about this? So it is told that far away, at the very top of the sky, there exists a star haven where the stars make their home. In star haven, there's a treasure called a star rod. According to legend, it was made with ancient magic. There are said to be stars that are particularly strong and good-hearted. They are called star spirits. Using the magical star rod, these star spirits grant the wishes of everyone in this world. That's why, when we make a wish to the night sky and it comes true, we all f it's all thanks to the star spirits and their star rod. If there's anything else you wish to know, please feel free to ask me. Yeah, 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 I just kind of wanted to deliver this to you. Now what could this be? Hmm, how exceedingly strange. It's from Lava Lava Island. Yes, yes, it's a question from a curious kid there. My mind is quite in demand. Thank you, Paracary. I thank you for your quick delivery. I don't usually accept your questions, but oh well. It's from a kid, and we must educate the younger generation. When I was a child, I had a curious mind as well. Still do. I'll get right on the answer. Thanks again for bringing this letter such a long way. Please take this as thanks. Star piece. Are in Luigi's house, that's right. All right. Ooh, we got exactly half the start pieces now. We have almost all the tasty recipes. I've only done 10 power bounces. Where people have done like a hundred. No new letters. At least Luigi's written new entries in his diary, though. He has... Because I'm still not done with Lava Lava Island. Boy, hanging out way up high was sure was nice. Such a great view and everything. Oh, uh, never mind. Say, that's a cool hammer you got there. I bet you can e beat, even beat up enemies with hard shells now. I must get my hands on the volcano's treasure. My keen intuition senses that there must be a way. Hmm, I suppose there's a slim chance it was blown clear in the eruption. I'd best check around the village for some clues. We get the Volcano Vase, a treasure found inside Mount Lava Lava. Alright, and now we need to talk to the Bubbleb. That's why Koopa Koot didn't want any new favors. Oh, hello, how are you doing? What, you want that seed? Aw, oh, I completely forgot you! I just gave it to a guy named Colorado or something. Sorry about that. I'm so generous that I just have to give something to everyone. Aw oh, man, that's nice. Well, I'm guessing we could trade uh, something to Colorado. Just a hunch, but I think we got something that he'll want. There you go, buddy. Mario! Good heavens, it's the treasure! How on earth did you... Well, I suppose that's of no consequence right now. You're giving it to me? You... You're giving it to me? Oh, glory! Marvelous! Dear man, you are quite simply the cat's meow. Cheers! Yes, hmm, I suppose. It's only proper that I give you this as thanks. And he gives us the bubble seed. A bubble gave it to me while I was off exploring. I'm sure it's quite a valuable seed, but I'm not interested in it at all. Now that I've got the treasure, I proclaim this adventure to be a complete success. 
What a stupendous expedition! It will be forever recorded in the history of archaeology. Well, old boy, let's away! Back to Toad Town with us! I hope he takes the pipe straight back to Koopa Village. His wife really wants to see him. Of course, he... Uh, Colorado should be able to swim across that. I don't see why Mom... Oh, that's right, they can't swim across that because they're made of paper. Alright, back to Koopa Village. Koopa could sure to have some favors for us by now. No? Really? My husband, where is he now? What's he thinking about? I just hope he's doing okay. That's my only wish. Don't tell me I have to take Colorado back on the whale. I bet that's what I have to do. Alright, alright. Well, uh, goodbye, Yoshi Village. You all are so cute. No thanks, Fuzzies. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Want to go back to Totone? Yep. Colorado, you could have just taken the warp pipe I had. What a heaven, heady adventure! I do love a lava island. Perchance someday I shall return to your shores. Well, I've got the warp pipe shortcut that you can take. All right. Here we go, a Caroline. Sorry, I'm in the Christmassy mood. Actually, I shouldn't have to apologize for that. Thank heavens we've arrived. Now, tuna ferrying is one experience I shan't do again. Cheers for the ride, though. I'm in your debt. For now, I'm heading back to Cooper Village to relax. My wife must be waiting for me. Perhaps our paths will cross again in the future, old boy. Cheerio! Hey, hey, look who it is! Mario, you're looking just fine, aren't you? You be, be careful not to be a burden on Mario's adventure. Hey, no way I'm a burden! I help out all the time! Well, well, our dear little Goombario's helping out the great Mario. I'm so proud! I'm going to tell Dad and Koompa. Mario, you must come over to our house again someday. Come on, stop it, Mom! You're embarrassing me! I'm not a kid anymore! Oh, don't be silly, Pumpkin. I'm not saying anything embarrassing at all. I just love you, that's all. Can't a mother be proud of her children? Ah, oh, Mom, you always treat me like a kid. Yeah, yeah, Goombario's getting scolded. Shut up, Goombaria. Where, yeah, Mom? Goombario's being mean. Ah, family dynamics. Mario, please take good care of my brother, okay? Come on, we're in a hurry, Goombaria. Seriously, you're so obnoxious sometimes. Be quiet. Wait, 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 way to be blunt, Goombario. Alright. You can't tell me that Koopa Koo doesn't need any favors now. That would just be ridiculous. Oh, and I bet one of his missions is going to have us go to Gusty Gulch. Just my guess. Uh, perfect timing. Uh, I guess the younger generation's not so bad after all. I seem to have misplaced my glasses, which is vexing. I suppose I must have dropped them somewhere. I haven't gone beyond the borders of Koopa Village, so logic suggests they're somewhere in the village. Could you drop what you're doing and find them? I have your word, young fella. Let's check every bush. My husband- oh. He hasn't come back to the village? Come on, dude, not cool. There they are. 
Also, I should do this. But moving on, da 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 da, -da attention listeners, because here's your big chance to win. Anyone who takes a coconut to the restaurant by the port in Toad Town will be eligible for a fantastic prize. Look inside the restaurant for a toad who looks like a bit eccentric. Give the coconut to him. Time is tight and the clock is ticking. I knew there was a reason I got two coconuts. There you go. <laughs> Hop and hurt plan! You're a master sleuth, Mario! My eyesight's really gone downhill these last years. Now I can once again read books without any trouble. Technology's great, isn't it? Here, I'll give you this to show my gratitude. Oh, you don't have to be so glad. Take it. Eh, I guess the younger generation's not so bad after all. I've really been dragging my shell lately. I need a tart pick-me-up. Let's see. Oh, I know. A fresh lime should do the trick. Can you find one? Hurry up if you could. I feel as slow as a tortoise. Do you promise? Well, I mean, you're a Koopa, so... Eh, I won't question it. I'll give him the lime after I do the trading event. Also, I just got the Animal Crossing New Leaf big update. I love it. Alright. Coconut. There you are. That's the Toad who hands out prizes at the radio trading event. If you take him the item mentioned on the radio, he'll hook you up with a rare item. You really should participate in the trading event, Mario. Hello, I'm the Toad from the trading event. Here's your coconut. Congratulations! This is the item for today. And we get the yummy meal. Tasty food cooked by Taste Tea restores 20 HP and 20 FP. Use it wisely. See you at the next trading event. I think that's the last one, though. Alright, I'm checking one of these cake mixes. And that's it. Yummy meals are great. Alright. Oh wait, no. Nope, nope, nope. Wrong way. Koopa Koop. Dry Dry Outpost. Get him a lime. Give the man a lime. Let's see if Chuck Quizmo's in here. Nope. There he is. Cow is everyone's favorite Quizmaster Chuck Gizmo. Question. What is the name of the character who joined you at the Cooper Bros. Fortress? That's Bombette. Correct! Congratulations, I've been stalking you. This is how I know this stuff. You've correctly answered 16 questions. I really need to talk to him a lot more. Still love this music. Also, I still need one more dried fruit, I do believe. Because I... yeah, so... Just briefly on equipping quick change so I can equip spin attack. I'll go to Pokeland. Poke around. Oh hey! Never mind, I can just use that. Oh shoot, forgot about that. That worked out.
Hey, dude. Sweet, we can almost use all the dried fruit we need for those recipes. We need two more recipes that require dried fruit. And we got two fins of dried fruit in there then now. Alright, Koopa Koop. You better appreciate this. I wonder if Chuck Gizmo's in the other part of town now. No, Chuck Gizmo in Koopa Village. There's your mime. By Spiny Spikes, are you for real, Mario? Mind blowing, crazy. Mmm, yeah, what a sour lime. That'll put a spring in my step. You're a stand up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. This time I'll give you this special gift, but I've got a reputation to keep. Free star pieces. Well, I guess the younger generation's not so bad after all. I recently heard about a snack called the Cookie Cookie. It's supposedly delicious. I must confess that I have a sweet tooth, so do you think you could track one down? One of the ingredients is a Koopa leaf, but I have no idea what the other one is. Hurry up if you can. I need sweets! Post haste! Do I have your word, young man? Well, it's a good thing I happen to have a cookie cookie in my storeroom. Hey, dude. Give me that. Also, I'm gonna store some stuff. Only five more items. Dang. Give me a mushroom. We're making a volt shroom again. There you go. Limes of Albino Dinos! You're world-class, Mario! So this is the cookie everyone raves about. It does look good. I think I'll save it for later. I'll give you this gift to show my gratitude. And it's one coin. Oh, it's Mario. I actually don't have any favors. You've used them all up. How about that? Welcome to Boo's shop. How can I scare you today? Igor Boo's shop, I'm Paracary, and I got a letter. We found it in a tree. A letter? Oh right, an order list. Weird, this order's from Gusty Gulch. That's right around the corner. Can't they just come here? Oh well, my motto is from boo to you with a smile. I love that. <laughs> Take this for your trouble. Thanks for the star piece. Hey Harry, give me a dried fruit. Hey Dainty. Is it true that there was a huge, scary, fire-breathing, flower-like monster somewhere here in the Mushroom Kingdom? And you beat it up, right? Did you really? How could something that looks like a flower be scary? Will the flower's mint tea all gets growing also turn into scary monsters someday? That won't happen, will it? You're Jane T, right? Yep, we got another letter for you. You did not give it to him, though. Another letter duly delivered. Postman's job is never done. Wow, thanks a lot! You're much faster than the old postman, that's for sure. That Yoshi kid's a really good pen pal, huh? He writes really long letters. Sounds like there's always something fun going on over where he is. Lucky Yoshi. We should write back again. Hmm, what do you think we ought to write about? Hmm, I don't know. Let's think about it later. By the way, I want to ask you a favor, Mr. Paracary. Can you deliver this? It's a letter for Uncle Frosty of Starborn Valley. He's my uncle. He's up there taking care of lots of star kids. It sounds like it's a hard job. He has to chase him around all the time. At least that's what he says in the letters he sends. Anyway, I wrote him a letter to take his mind off work. I know it's far from here, but I'd really appreciate it. And yeah. One of the last letters in the side quest, and we can't do it just yet. Hello, Tasty. 
All right. Oh wait, nope. No. No. First off, no, not that. My order got uh, messed up. Mushroom. Koopa leaf. That's what I wanted. Get the Voltshroom. Okay, now, Voltshroom plus dried fruit. Okay, all finished. I don't exactly know what it is, but sometimes experiments turn out to be great. And we get a Thunder Rage. All right, let's cook a melon. It smells delicious. We get the special shake. A smoothie made by Taste Tea restores 20 FP. All right, now we're gonna mix cake mix with our other melon. And we're going to get an awesome item for it. We get the Yoshi cookie! A cookie baked by Taste Tea restores 15 HP and 15 FP, and it looks adorable and delicious. Alright, final recipe. Strange Leaf. And our special shake. Oh, sweet success! This dish is one of my specialties. Here, please. We get the healthy juice. A juice blend made by Tasty restores 40 FP. Alright. 278. That's quite a lot of coins. Rolf definitely has badges now. Oh my! Oh! We got Super Smash Charge, another Damage Dodge, and Mega Quake. Oh, which ones to get? <sighs> Mega Quake is really tempting. So is Damage Dodge, though. It's. I'll do Damage Dodge. I could use more defense. Okay. Sorry, quick change. I really want Mega Quake, though. Oh, yeah, now the post office should have some letters. And we can go to Mario's house to do all that stuff as well. Oh boy! From Bruce. It's a love letter. Bombette! You must return to me, oh fair and combustible bob -omb. My heart awaits you in Koopa Village. It burns like a fuse. I will love you forever. Even if you reject me, my love will endure. If I don't see you soon, I'll surely explode. So please hurry. You've ignited my passion. Come back to me, my love. You're Bruce. Uh-oh. She doesn't seem to like Bruce, though. Ooh! Letter from, from Bootler. To Lady Bo, please return as quickly as possible. I cannot shake the image of you in some sort of danger. So it so worries me that I can no longer sleep. When you went with Mario, you told me not to go with you. But now I regret my obedience. I should have gone anyway and protected you from harm. Now all I can do is wait, wish for the stars with the other booze that you return safely. Please take care, Bootler. Ooh, Wop got a letter from Fuzzipede. Wow. Dear Wop, well, I'm still kicking. I ain't gonna be bait no more. I reckon I appreciate the help of you and your buddies. This here letter will be my thanks, so we're even, alrighty? Anywho, good luck doing what y'all do, and don't be bothering me if we meet up again, Fuzzipede. Well, I mean, I guess that was kind of nice that he wrote a letter to Watt. But he totally should have started the letter with, Hey, what's up? 
I mean, wasted opportunity again, right? There's just so much to do on a day like today. I just destroyed that. Boy, ain't it out there was a great one. <laughs> Mario's a jerk. And this Mario is kind of a jerk to Luigi. <laughs> How are you, old bean? Smashing, I trust? I'd just like to thank you for helping me with that nasty volcano business. Of course, I'm sure you're well aware of my own heroic role in the final fracas. I've lately worried about my dear wife, how she must worry about me as I brave danger. Perhaps it's time I returned home for a while. Feel free to stop by for a spot of tea, Colorado. Yeah, dude. You're married, you need to spend time with your wife. Even I know that. Oh boy. I heard that my brother went to Lava Lava Island on a tuna. Unbelievable! So unfair! I, I, I wanna ride on a tuna too! <laughs> that was a short entry. I heard that some Yoshi kids on Lava Lava Island got lost and my brother saved them. I bet Yoshi kids are just about the cutest things around. I'm a bit jealous of my brother. Yeah, Yoshi babies are pretty adorable. All right. Thing is, I could save my coins and get Mega Quake as soon as possible, or I could buy some more Rip Cheeto things. Flower Fields is in a state of despair because of Bowser's minions. Please save us. Pop Olbs came from a flower-filled land called the Flower Fields. They say the flowers in the Flower Fields are in trouble. To get to Flower Fields, you need four kinds of seeds that only Bubbulbs possess. But where are the Bubbulbs? Please, Mario, you must look for Bubbulbs and get the seeds from me. Maybe Merlin's fortune telling could help you look. Well, I got the last one, anyways. Wow, you brought me the seed! Thank you so much! Yeah. yeah! At first it just looked like the flowers were blooming, but suddenly a door had appeared. It must be... You must be able to go to Flower Fields from here. Mario, Flower Fields needs your aid. Please help. Alright, time for the one world in the game that I don't like very much. Flower Fields. It's tough. And long. And hard. Chapter 6, Dark Days in the Flower Fields. And that's not Cloud and Candy, in case you're wondering. What who? Now who might that be? Ho 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 ho! Up here, son! They call me Wise Wizard Wisterwood. I have the oldest tree here in Flower Fields. The land of trees, flowers, grasses, and plants. And you must be Mario. I've heard a lot about you, son. You're trying your best to save the Star Spirits and the rest of the world, aren't you? Very noble. If that is true, then your arrival means a Star Spirit is here in our land. I would help you in your quest, but alas, I cannot right now. Flower Fields is in trouble. A creature named Huff and Puff and his followers invaded our land, her land, not long ago. These creatures brought clouds to our sunny sky. It has been dark and cloudy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We are all weak and fading. Oh, I remember something. The rumor is that Huff and Puff is holding somebody captive. Of course, it must be the star spirit that you are searching for. Oh ho, you're going to defeat the wicked Huff and Puff then. Well, that would make the wishes of Flower Fields come true. But it's not that easy. Huff and Puff is up in the sky on what we call the Cloudy Climb. There's no way up there now. Well, you might be able to reach it if you find a magic bean or something that grows high. Now wait a minute. I think that there is a flower that has a magical bean somewhere. Um, I believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she is off to the east. It wouldn't hurt to go visit her and ask about it. The other flowers and bubbles around here might have some useful information as well. I'd say talk to everyone. 
Well, we're going to leave the episode off there. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Flority. Tune in for the next episode. We'll be exploring the flower fields a bit. And who knows, we might go back to Toad Town for some side quest stuff as well. Have a great day and God bless.